For the first time ever, a majority of Americans say they do not belong to any sort of organized religion. As long as Gallup has been polling Americans, a majority of respondents say their members at House of Worships, including churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples. That is until this past year in 2020, only 47% of Americans said they belong to a house of worship. That's down from 50% in 2018. And as as recently as 1999, 70% of Americans said they belong to some sort of church. Gallup said the fall in membership was due to an increasing number of Americans who say they have no religious preference. But DBL Nation, you know we always wanna hear from you. What do you think? Are you a member of a church, synagogue, mosque? Uh, we're gonna look at our tag board right there. Go to dblvote.com to let us know. What do you make of this? Gallup didn't factor in COVID. You can't go to church during COVID this past year. So of course numbers are down. I hate surveys that skew things. It's not that I'm upset about what they did to pull about, but it's just skewing things to make people like religion's bad. You shouldn't believe in this. I, listen, I don't go to church every day, but it's good to believe in something. It's good to have religion. It's good to teach your kids something. It's good to go somewhere on Sunday morning instead of being hungover. There's a lot of positives to the church and I understand all the bad that goes with it. I, I get that. I'm not part of that. I don't do that. I go there on Christmas and Easter and I believe and I want my kids to believe in something higher than me than what humans are to, to this rhetoric that we're putting out now that church is terrible and it's not good for you and I don't want to do this anymore I don't like it it's just me personally I, I don't like it I think what you're referring but to is the dogma me, go ahead Tori I just want to really quickly clarify for our viewers what Jeff's return referring to is the dogmatism attached to religion right like the judgment you are yes. very spiritual and you see the benefit in fact I have really adopted the power of prayer ever since, you know, mm. Eric has been in the hospital. So I am right there with you. I am so grateful for God and the power of prayer. So uh, amen to that. But Tori, what were you going to say? First of all, I, I love that you guys said that. I'm strongly observant in terms of Judaism and traditions, but I think organized religion has done a lot of harm to this generation, meaning they were told that if they're gay or trans for a long time, they were gonna go to hell. They were said that they couldn't get married. They were said that they were sometimes molested by people that they trusted in authority. So I believe in believing in something, but I have a real issue with organized religion and, and why it's going down perfect sense to me because I think people are trusting to pray outside of that organized religion because there's a lot of flaws that we have seen uncovered. Well, so I, I think that's important to put out there. Well, Tori, I think we're, that we're agreeing, but uh, on the, the fact that believing in something is a good thing. And Jeff, I am on board with that. The only thing I'm going to push back on with you and Tori is I feel like we're we're missing the field. You know how like you can decide whether Tiger win, Tiger Woods will win the Masters or the rest of the golfers. We're not factoring in. There's other stuff out there. You can on Sundays be part of a brunch group. You can you and Chris go out and play golf on Sundays. That can be your religion. You guys get together. You talk about your family. You talk about what you want to do this week and that can become a religion for you. Yes. So a lot of people are re are faithful to something. They get up and go to their yoga thing outside and watch the sunrise, whatever it is, that can be your religion. That can be how you jump start yourself for the week. So I don't think it's necessarily a knock against religion. I just think just like every time we have a, a story about the Grammys and we're like the ratings were down. It's because there's more stuff to watch. There's more things than there was in 1980. So I think that's kind of what we're seeing. I think it's going to go down, but for everything. Yeah. All the time. I know. It's a controversial point. But I get what you're saying. Point that a lot of people, you know, this book was written 2,000 years ago. I don't necessarily believe everything written there because if you translate it through 100 uh, languages, it's tough to di dissect anyway, right? And so things in there were bad. I get that. But it's like now, nowadays it's crazy. You say, like, I'm Catholic. I, I was in just the stigma that's attached to being Catholic right now and the way people look and talk. And it, it's, I don't know. I mean, we're all about unity right now. I don't feel it when I talk about religion and I don't go there I've I've made my confirmation in my communion I've never been molested by a priest I know that's what is in the back of everyone's mind right now but it's like we have to have these conversations instead of just judging everybody all the time about everything well and said. putting labels on people well said I put a label on myself I'm great <laughs> good <laughs> ice <laughs> I love you buddy yes they are a member of a church or synagogue or mosque all right we'll be right back